The first quarter RMB BER Business Confidence Index was released today. At 30 index points, this suggests that only 3 out of 10 business executives in the sectors that are surveyed are happy with prevailing business conditions. This is relatively flat compared to what we saw in the fourth quarter, where the business confidence was at 31 index points. So not a lot of has really changed, or so it would seem um, on the surface. When we dig a little bit deeper though, we do see that two sectors saw quite big movements in confidence. Firstly was the retail sector, which saw a large decline to 34 index points in its confidence. Driving this is a number of factors. We see continued issues with respect to logistics, with respect to load shedding, but also this high interest rate environment, which is constraining consumers and hence demand in the retail sector. And so despite relatively robust um, sales volumes, we have seen confidence remaining quite contained. Adding to retailers' concerns is the fact that profit margins are being compressed as the structural issues in, in the country continue to push up the cost of doing business. On the other hand, it was actually quite a good story when we look at the new vehicle sellers. Confidence rose from six index points to 16. This is quite a big jump, but it is worth bearing in mind that at 16, this is very low and well below the long-term average for the sector. That said, it does seem that given that interest rates are expected to have peaked already and are expected to come down later in the year, that there is some confidence that the market should start getting better, which is boosting confidence and even maybe boosting some near-term sales. Ultimately, the business environment in South Africa remains very constrained. Apart from the logistical issues, the load shedding, which I've already discussed, uh, survey respondents are concerned about crime um, and, and the political environment. With elections coming up um, on the 29th of May, there is going to be continued uncertainty, which is probably going to delay business investment until we see the outcomes of the election. Thank you.